Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. Finally, we made all necessary tests for our 15 watt Pro laser model. So, um, you see quite a big installation here. So, let me describe you what you see. So, this is our temperature sensor. So, this is our office temperature. It's quite hot, not too hot. Uh, we have two uh, laser boxes. Uh, for each uh, diode, for each uh, laser model. We have our uh, calorimeter that uh, will measure uh, laser power. And we have two uh, DC, DC converters to adjust uh, capacity, actually, for tech cooling. So, uh, the, the reason we are going to make this uh, live demo test to show you uh, real uh, laser power for two combined beams and we want to show you temperature stability. So, it was a case uh, for us uh, for a week. So, we had that lasers, they uh, get too hot even with our own um, heat sink. Uh, it didn't work enough to remove heat. So uh, that's why we are using DC-DC to, to calibrate, to adjust both tech cooling so that all the, that two diodes have uh, the same temperature. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna turn it on. So uh, my technical assistant will uh, turn on tech cooling right now so the temperature will uh, drop as you see uh, so tech cooling is uh, removing heat from this diode and from this one and you see that temperature uh, well, quite quickly goes down uh, this is Celsius uh, hope that you guys do not have big problems with converting Fahrenheit into Celsius um, yeah, and it's like I said, it's quite hot, but we recommend to operate our uh, new 15 watt uh, dual laser system if the temperature is below 25 uh, Celsius, so it may be something like 70 Fahrenheit. Okay, that you see that the temperature is uh, going down, so we don't need to make them too cold. So, Pavel, let's uh, put protection shield here. So we, because you know that a laser will go uh, left and the other one goes straight. But still, the, the one that goes straight, it has some, some spot that goes direct. Okay, we have it here. And let's start. Uh, okay. So uh, you see that our calorimeter, it's um, the laser, both beams hitting calorimeter, and you see the temperature. So temperature now starts to getting higher because uh, lasers generate heat, and we need to remove about, um, well, like 17 watt of uh, heat, because you have like 5 4.8 volts uh, multiply 4.8 amps, so it's closer to 23 watts, and we have about 7, 7.5 optical power, and uh, so we have a t like 15 watt heat power that is being generated. So you see that 12.7 watt, and we have some losses on on a prism. Don't forget about this. And we had some losses on G2 lens. And here we have uh, measurements for tech cooling. Uh, so it's um, like 8.8 .8 volts on 2.5 amps. So it means that it, it will remove something like 20 watt of heat, something like that. So maybe like a little bit more, like 22 right yeah 22 so uh yeah and we just need to adjust each uh each uh tech cooling by uh adjusting voltage on both uh dc dc converters 
So as you can see, the temperature is quite stable, and also measurements for our uh, laser is also quite stable. That's uh, that's good. Yeah, you see that it'll slightly go up, maybe to 31, 32, 33, but don't worry, you can operate the laser uh, even uh, if temperature reaches like 35 uh, Celsius. I wouldn't suggest you to run, uh, to keep running the laser if temperature exceeds 35 or 50. Oh, sorry, 50 is like critical because it's, it's not on dial, it's on heatsink, but probably like 40 would be the maximum and then you need to turn off uh, the laser and uh, wait till temperature goes goes down but you see that uh, the whole installation works pretty good uh, we are ready to start delivering our 15 watt uh, pro laser module so uh, we'll keep you updated if you have any questions let me know uh, email me gf at endurancerobot.com or text me plus seven uh, nine one six two two five four three oh two and visit our website endurancelasers.com and endurance-lasers.com, our online store. So we're happy to present to you the most powerful dual laser beam system. So it's, I think it's perfect. And uh, now you can do really, really nice things on your 3D printer or CNC frame. So uh, now I'll turn off the laser and you will see uh, how quickly the temperature will, will go down. So you see and tech cooling uh, does <laughs> works pretty good so uh, makes uh, it colder so uh, yeah hope that you like this video guys and add comments under this video bye bye